Welcome back. In this video, we'll implement the 50 move rule. It states that a draw can be claimed if no capture is made and no pawn is moved for 50 consecutive moves. Let me explain how we can program it. The idea is to add a counter variable which stores the number of consecutive non-capturing and non-pawn moves. When a move is made, we increment the counter in most cases. But if a capture is made, we reset it back to zero. And we do the same if a pawn is moved. Confusingly, the 50 moves in the definition of the rule are what chess players call full moves. They refer to both players making one move each. So the rule should only take effect when the counter hits 100. If this happens, we will automatically end the game with a draw. Let's get started. In order to implement this rule, we must know which moves either capture a piece or move a pawn. First, we'll open the move base class. Here, we'll change the execute method so it returns a boolean. Execute should return true if and only if a piece was captured or a pawn was moved. Such moves are irreversible and thus make some progress in the game. Next, let's go to the normal move. We'll change the return type of execute to boolean. And here, we'll check if the move captures a piece. It does if the two position is not empty. At the end of the method, we return true if there's a capture or the moving piece is a pawn. The remaining moves are straightforward to update. Castling never moves a pawn or captures a piece. So here, we just return false. All the remaining moves, pawn promotion, double pawn, and en passant, always move a pawn. So their execute methods should always return true. Perfect. Now we can go back to the game state class. We'll add a variable called no capture or pawn moves, which is set to zero initially. This is the counter variable that I showed you in the intro. It counts the number of consecutive non capturing and non pawn moves. Next, we go to make move. Here, we must check if the given move captures a piece or moves a pawn. If so, then progress has been made and we should reset no capture or pawn moves to zero. Otherwise, we increment its value.
Now we can write a method called 50 move rule. It checks the number of full moves without a capture or pawn move. Remember, one full move consists of a move by both players. So we take our counter variable and divide it by 2. Then we return true if there's been 50 such moves consecutively. Now all there's left to do is add this rule to our check for game over method. If 50 move rule returns true, we set the result to a draw with the 50 move rule reason. And that's it. Now if the game goes on for too long without any progress, it will eventually end with a draw. And our game over menu will tell us it's because of the 50 move rule. In the next part, we'll begin implementing another rule called threefold repetition. See you then.